When I'm doing metal sculpture, each step of the process is important. And that's right up to and including finishing. In my case, where I use a spray gun and apply a clear lacquer or an aerosol. Now, fortunately, there are a number of different clear aerosols that we can use, and each has their particular purpose. When I first started doing videos back in 2003, I knew that many people would not have a spray gun. So I showed finishing with a clear aerosol. At that time, my best choice was Krylon's Crystal Clear. A few years ago, I discovered rust Crystal Clear. It definitely is superior for my work compared to the Krylon. Much more gloss. I prefer a high gloss finish because it better reflects the light, making my pieces more eye-catching. Walmart and Menards are convenient for me, and they both carry a full line of aerosols. Now, I'm sure that all the big box stores carry these same products. Once, when I wanted to pick up a can of rust Crystal Clear, they were out of it. But they had this rust Clear Durable Top Coat. Now, this works, although it's a bit more expensive. In Walmart, I noticed that they began carrying Krylon's Clear Glaze. Now, I haven't seen this for about 15 years. It's a thick, heavy spray that is high gloss and adds the illusion of depth. When doing the belt buckles, I wanted a very durable finish. For these, I used VHT's Clear Wheel Paint. This I buy at AutoZone. It's about $8 a can. Now the directions for use are more detailed for this VHT clear wheel paint than for most other clear sprays. Now for some reason, I don't want a gloss finish. I use rust Matte Clear Enamel. If the humidity is a bit high and the piece looks cloudy, which is called blushing, I spray with Mohawk's Super Blush Retarder. Now this is available online. This is a gallon of house paint. You can see that the chemicals have separated and needs to be stirred. With aerosols, we can't see the inside of the can, so it's important that we follow the manufacturer's instructions. Most always, they will suggest to shake the can for at least one minute so that the contents are thoroughly mixed. And these are what I consider the important points of spray finishing metal. Proper ventilation. It's important to wear a mask. An exhaust fan is suggested. Eye protection. And for good adhesion, metal must be clean, free of dirt and oil. For best results, Read and follow the directions on the label.